What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Jeannie. This is Sarah. And Sarah, how has your week been? How's, how's oh it going? Oh my gosh, this week has been... I was sick as a dog, girl. Were I, you? Yes, I don't know what happened. And I usually never get sick, but I was sick as a dog. I was coughing nonstop for like three, four days straight, like just coughing. And that dry cough where you <sighs> cough so much, you get a headache. Do you think it's... um? The allergies, because they've been fucking with me. Girl, I don't know what it was, but I was out. Like, I couldn't even get up from bed. I was sleeping all day. Like, I was out cold. Like, and I'm never sick like that. So, Ugh. yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad you're better. Amen. Thank you God. You sound better. So, hey, hallelujah. What about Thanks. you? Anything good you want to um, fill us in with? No. Yeah. I, it's been, you know, a steady week. Busy so, at work? Always busy at work. Work doesn't stop. <laughs> Thank, but I'm glad I have a job. So Amen. That's Always that. Thankful. So yeah. Always thankful. Gotta love it. Okay. Well, you want to get right into the episode? Let's get right into it. So today's topic is, what's a soulmate? Mm, ding, ding, ding. Zoom into my little violin right here. <laughs> um, a soulmate. A soulmate. Okay. So first, I definitely did some research to make sure that I was coming with what it has listed online for like greek mythology Mm -hmm. and that says here that in greek mythology the concept of soulmates is rooted in the idea that these individuals are two halves of the same whole originally united but separated by the greek god zeus due to his jealousy and fear Mm. so i was like okay that's interesting do you believe in like uh greek mythology? mythology no was I saying that right? Yeah, yeah. I said it yeah, right. Yeah, okay, you good. said it right. I don't believe in it, but I think it's cool to read on and fantasize it's over. About, I think it's like okay. a fantasy. Um, so, I don't know. I believe there are soulmates. And I feel like in life, and I, I do think I've read it somewhere before, that like you have three loves. So, I feel like it's three different versions of a soulmate. I was going to ask you, do you think there's, there's only one soulmate? I don't think there's only one soulmate. I think, there could be, I think there's a soulmate for each, like, stage in life yes like each version of yourself if it changes like damn that sounds kind of like <laughs> crazy right but i i do think so like i feel like i've experienced that before for sure but here's my question right if you had a soulmate let's say your soulmate just so happens to mess up and now they're not yeah isn't your soulmate your soulmate no matter what yes and my thing is like Let's say you think you found your soulmate, but they step out on you, and then you find yourself another soulmate, and they step out of you. How many soulmates will you have? I don't know. Well, I think it's a difference of a feeling. Like I Elaborate. Feel like, I think you can be in relationships and be in love and that, but I feel like when you experience things with a person that's different from the rest, like it's always been different. Like there's a different vibe. There's a different level of communication like it's just different right i think it opens up a different (laughs) dynamic for the relationship whereas i don't think every partner is your soulmate right Mm -hmm. like i don't think every relationship that you're with is a soulmate i think it it's a different kind of connection and bond i definitely agree because i feel like we can go in relationships and you may eventually love that person but it may not be like the the love that you had and I'm not saying that you ever compare love like for each partner, but I feel like it's different. It's different each time. Do you th- have? You, do you think you've met your soulmate, or do you think you still have Ooh. yet to meet them? Ooh, I feel like yes. I you, feel like I've met have. my yeah. I think I've met my soulmate before, but I don't think we're eternal soulmates okay and what were the qualities that made you feel like yeah that was my soulmate or that is my soulmate i don't know i just feel like the life that i envisioned for myself was just like a different life than what it was you know what i mean like i I feel feel like this is an interview so let me ask you this question would you rather the life you're living now or the life that you could have potentially had (sighs) that's crazy um I would never change the life that I have now. So even though you could daydream and think like, oh, da da da, how would this have been different? I don't. I would never change what is today. Okay. And uh, okay. wait, 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 wait. My turn. I was like, can I get wait, 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 wait. Have you ever experienced a soulmate? Um, I feel like I have, but then I don't. I don't know. Because it's like, I don't know. Uh, you know when like, all right, so let's say 
some char characteristics of this person and some characteristics of this person mix them in one that would have been my soulmate oh shit okay that's interesting but i don't think that i've met or been with a guy that's just they're, they're like the perfect perfect like it hits every mark to be my soulmate really and what would you say is your checklist or marks that like would make them be your soulmate have you ever really thought about that where it was like if this was my perfect man who would it like um besides my besides you michael b jordan <laughs> um i i don't i don't know anymore because like i as i grow as i grew up and the experiences i've been through no one is perfect yeah. But if I could have it perfect, if I could have like my Cinderella moment, yes. it'd be a man of faith, okay. man of, a man of God. It'd be a super romantic person. Okay. But then it being romantic, I need them to be very mean to everybody but me. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that, GD. Very creative, very artsy, could dress, has loads and loads of money. <laughs> like, I'm talking about a fantasy at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, <laughs> Doesn't ever flirt, doesn't ever look at any other girl. Thinks, Just has thinks, eyes for you. Yeah, it's completely in love with me, but not obsessed, because I've had that too. Oh, shit. Like, where it's like, oh, I can't, like, ever, like, whatever, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> um, but just like, you know, like, a, somebody that doesn't exist, a fantasy. Okay, now let me ask you this question. Do you think soulmates can be platonic? Like a friend? Have you ever had a friend, let me rephrase the question, have you ever had a friend in your life they're like, bro, you're my soulmate. You just understand me so much. I couldn't picture this life without you. You've been there. Like, is there one person that comes to mind? Where it's yeah, like, I actually feel like a few people that come really? to mind. Yeah, that are just so good of just friends that like you could just completely be yourself with. I don't know about soulmates though, because I feel like soulmates is like deep. Really? Like that's like deep, deep, and I don't think anyone's been that deeply like. I feel like you are a pretty. You're open, but you're also very personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you are very personal with the things that you say and the information you share. You know, like, you're like a book, but there's, like, private chapters. Yeah, there's very, there, I'm very, Does yeah. that make sense? Absolutely, it makes sense. Actually, I lied. There is one person that used to be my soulmate, and that was my cousin, and we're not on talking terms wow. right now. But, yeah, I feel like she was my, like, ever since we were little. You see? She was my soulmate, but, like, things are, things Things change and, and people have their own opinions and, and I feel like life changes you. A hundred percent. You know, changes who you who you are, how you think. Maybe I would have thought about this. I would have done things this way and I would have thought about doing them this way and I would have been more emotional about it this way. But then things like there's curves in life, right? Yeah. That changes you. And it's like this changed person mm -hmm. isn't really who you are, but unfortunately those circumstances take you over who you really are and there's nothing you can do about that you know what i you know what they, i mean yes they change literally who you are i feel like i've had a few moments in life like that like one that comes directly to mind is when i lost my grandmother mm. i remember living in um like i was in new york and i got the call and i had to hop on a train and go back and i was just crying and crying just like oh my god i, I hope she waits for me and when she did wait for me you know she passed when we were all there but I'm well, so happy she waited for you. Me That's too. so fire. Oh my God, me too. She, it was like literally hours later when everybody was there. It was like, she was like, okay, I'm ready to say goodbye, right? But when I went back to New York, I was never the same. Like I couldn't even continue to live there. Like my, I, that mm. was the first person that I lost that was so close to me. And I, I feel like you've experienced something like for that sure. before, but you were much younger, right? Mm -hmm. Like where that feeling of grief. And I feel like grief is such a powerful emotion it changes you and it changes who you are mm -hmm. and it really made me a different person for a long time like I just wasn't myself there wasn't much happiness and I saw it a lot in my mom too like she really had a hard time grieving with it yeah, yeah. I think with me it's more um yeah grief definitely changed me my two cousins that passed away at a very young age was brutal for me but I think also relationships that like where people where people should have been a certain kind of way with you and never were and Girl. so, like, just you talking about your grandma and how, like, that shit killed you, blah, 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 and stuff like that. Like, that's not everybody's story. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where, like, I wish that I had that situation where, like, obviously, I don't want nothing to happen to my grandma, but I wish I had the situation where, like, I felt like that with my grandma. 
Yeah. That's... But like certain situations didn't make that possible, so that's not gonna be my feeling. My truth. Feel that. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So it's things like that that like changes you, and it sucks. Yeah, I like. I can think back to that moment. I remember when they came in and like they called. They called it right. They called her time. Like I just remember like every like I just collapsed. Like I literally never got dropped like that before. And you were super close to her? I yeah, that was my best friend. I like even when I would come home from New York, like I'd literally be go sitting on her lap, hugging her, kissing her. Yeah. And she's you know what I mean? Like she was older, she'd be like, Hey Kenny, you're too big for this. I'm like, <laughs> I'm never too old and I'd be like smothering her with kisses, like mm, and she would love Dope. it. And that's who I was named after, you know. So it was like that was really hard. What what name? Sarah? Yeah. That was her name? Yeah. Oh my God! Did you know that? Well, my name is Jeannie, obviously, but my middle name is Teresa, and that's for my grandma. Yeah, that's so. Emily is my great grandma's name, so I was named after Sarah. Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, so um, definitely meant a lot. And this is her ring, and I wear it every single day ever since that day. Um, but yeah, that really changed me, and I feel like a hundred percent like heartbreaks and relationships and being let down, being believing a dream, and then that right. dream being completely snatched from you has a hundred percent changed me absolutely like, that, that's what i'm saying like i feel like i don't know so like in in, in the lover aspect no i don't all right i don't want to make it seem like no because like chris i love chris you know what i'm saying like he checks a lot of but not all of them but because i'm sure i'm not checking all of his either of <laughs> you course. know what i, I mean, mean? We're human. no yeah, one's perfect but like yes like he <laughs> most of my boxes like he's good in but um, yeah, not all of them. But I don't know that I could be like, oh, my God, I've met my soulmate. Maybe in the moment that I seen him for the first time, I was like, you know what I mean? But So I feel like I soulmates is not love at first sight. And I feel like what you're describing is love at first sight. I feel like soulmate You don't think a soulmate time. could be a, like love at first sight? No. I think a soulmate develops over time based on the bond and the the ability for the other person to be there for you and the moments that you share together. I don't agree. What? No, I feel like, no, I feel like a soulmate, you could see them and he could see you and like you guys are getting to know each other and everything clicks. Boom, 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 boom. Like the more, what? and then the more time that goes by, the more it like lets Develops. you know that that is my soulmate. It's more like confirmation with the actions wow. that they take rather than, Wow. Me, like, waiting for the actions. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like a soulmate can be, like, love at first. Unless I'm like, watching too much rom-coms. <laughs> I love rom-coms, but I didn't really think about it like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like, imagine, all right, so let me pic picture this. Okay. You're at a cafe, and you see a guy. Mm -hmm. Fine as hell. He sees you fine as hell. Mm -hmm. You guys lock eyes. He approaches you. He approaches you exactly how you would, like, expect them to. Then you guys start talking. Everything's checking off. And then let's say one day... You go on a date and you fall and he does exactly what you thought. And it's just like, that's what I'm saying. Ah! Action after action after action. Confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. I that could absolutely be your soulmate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like timing. Get, you know what I'm saying? I get like, what you're saying. I feel like that's God's plan. That has more to do with God than yeah. like soulmates. But I don't. And I also feel like, okay, speaking of God's plan, do you think your soulmate comes from God or it's bond? Because what you described makes me feel like it comes from God, whereas I feel like it's a connection that's developed that makes you intertwined as soulmates. I feel like, um, <coughs> I feel like if he checks all the boxes, I want to say, I don't want to say biblically to not sound too religious, but biblically, then yeah, for sure, he comes from, from God. God. Like if you, oh my God. if you listen to god and everything like because god's not gonna give you something that's gonna stress you out amen chris don't oh, be stressing me out before i start thinking you ain't the one please just say that again for the god's people. yes yes god's not gonna send you someone that's gonna stress you out so if you're in a christian marriage and you've been cheated on or he's stressing you out or he's just not doing things correctly just because you're married and just because you're christian does not mean that you can you can't let that Thank God. Oh, amen. Amen. I know amen. divorce is a sin, but there's also like read the context from that because I feel like there's a lot of people that like love to read just what's going to benefit them. Oh, my dad was one of them. Sorry. Shout out to you, dad. We but like, you. you know what I'm saying? He would be like, oh, you're not supposed to get you're not supposed to be divorced, but you're not supposed to cheat, bro. Period. You get that part. You period, know what I'm saying? Period, so it's period. like things like that. Like, it's just context. I just feel like, like I said, God's not going to send you anything that's going to stress you out. That doesn't mean God's going to send you Prince Charming from Cinderella perfection doesn't exist but for the most part it's gonna be it's gonna be good wow and if you guys get into bad moments it's gonna be good you okay. know what i'm saying yes. like you're gonna figure it out there's always gonna be a solution exactly and i feel like that has a lot to do with it too is that it really def 
depends on conflict resolution Mm -hmm. with your soulmate. If your soulmate does not care about you, that is not your soulmate. You know what I mean? Like if you're crying and they don't even flinch or they're just on their phone, not even budging, like, bro, you're not my soulmate. You don't even care about me. Right. Not even like, the soulmate. Not even then. Like, nothing at that point. You need to be point. wiping my tears or catching them with a fucking cup, bro. <laughs> like I want you to drink the tears later. Like that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like show. I hope me you don't have high blood pressure with all that <laughs> salt. But yeah, no, I agree. I feel like yeah, that's just crazy. That, that all these questions. I know. I know. Okay, so you and you only think there's one soulmate in your whole life? Or you I don't you think that there's one soulmate in your life. Multiple. I feel like as long as you're evolving and changing, unless your soulmate isn't evolving and changing with you, then there could be another one. Okay. For sure. Next. Because I'm <laughs> sure my mom thought my dad was her soulmate. And Facts, though. She's gone through a few other marriages after that, so. She don't mess around. <laughs> my girl don't mess around. I love my that My girl, one. I just, I don't feel like as an adult and as an older person, I would never want my mom to feel alone and it makes me sad that like i live in my own apartment and i don't see my mom off. like not that i don't see her often but i don't see her every, every day. day you right. know what i'm saying and she'd be lonely like she is now married you know what i mean so good for her but like she's also had marriages where like a marriage that her husband passed away you know what i mean wow. like you don't think that my mom's hopping around with people my mom's a christian serious lady and she <laughs> yeah, does have her husband now that. which you know but um yeah do you think a soulmate can pass away Obviously, because everybody dies, but... Yeah, but b- before your time's over. Were they your soulmate if they passed away? Like, before... You, like It's crazy. You get what I, I'm trying to yes, say? Yes, I do. I just saw something on this where um, it was like when you feel like you've been caught in um, the Matrix. And it was basically a woman who got with a man and his previous wife passed away from cancer, terminal cancer. And... He was like at a coffee shop or whatever, and not the coffee shop, <laughs> the coffee shop. And he, she said to the woman, she ended up. He, this girl walked in the coffee shop. They ended up falling in love, whatever. This woman, his new wife, ended up getting terminal cancer again, just like the first wife. And as she was getting ready to pass, his first wife was there, and she said, "I brought you to him. Thank you for taking care of him." him while I was gone and that was one of the last things that she told him is that your wife brought me to you and wanted us to be together and us to be happy and I hope you can find somebody after me and I was like yo this is fucking wild zoom in to me that won't be me <laughs> Shut up, if I'm not here I don't want you to have nobody, nobody. <laughs> you ain't gonna be happy after me like, let me mm-hmm, let me go handpick the one no I want you to cry in the house forever, <laughs> forever, 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 ever. There's no, that's there's so, no other. That's so crazy, though. That's crazy. Do you believe in shit like that? I know you're Christian, but do you think that that could happen? No. <gasps> no, I don't. Genie. I think that shit happens. I don't only because, again, besides the fact that I'm Christian, I feel like when you pass away, the way that I view things is heaven or hell. N- yes, but not necessarily. I feel like God has you completely resting. You don't, you don't, you don't come alive to go, like you're, re- you're literally at a resting place. So anything that pops up pretending to be you isn't you. It's almost like if you go to a psychic, the psychic could tell you your future, but that's not coming from God. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, what if it is though? What if the psychic, the God's telling the psychic? I feel like it's different. There's prophets that it's, it's just different. Like I can't, Ooh, shit. yeah, no, it's, it's different. There's, okay. there's, there's like prophetic people that come again, people. This is just my beliefs. You don't have to believe it. It's fine if you don't. There's a of lot course. of there's a lot of instances where I'm like, oh, that's kind of fishy. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So like, whatever. But this is just my beliefs. I feel like there's a prophetic word from God, right? Okay. Where like, this has happened to me where like a prophet has said something to me, pro- prophesized over my life. And then when I go back to ask them about it, they have no idea what I'm talking about. What? They're like, we can't, we can't talk about this again because I don't, that wasn't me talking <gasps> to you. You know what I'm saying? That was like, that was God's the spirit message. of God. You know what I'm saying? They cannot come back and tell me, oh, this is what it was or clarify or anything. And then a psychic can tell you a million things. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if the confirmations that you get also a psychic could do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The devil can play games. You know what I'm saying? Like he could give you what you want, but at a cost. Also, when you go to a psychic, I've had so many friends go to psychics where like they'll get the message of the future. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's incorrect, but so much shit comes with that. Oh my so God. So much trouble, so much this, so much that they weren't supposed to know at 
that at the wrong time, time. or you know what I'm That's saying? Crazy. Things like that where I just I don't mess Ooh. around with that. Ooh. But if you do, I respect it. You know what I mean? So Ooh -wee, that was that So yeah, so when when people say that, oh well, like, oh, um, my wife, like with the story you just said, like I no, I don't believe that that's true. Wow, I don't. And I mean, you don't think spirits li are in limbo before heaven or hell? No, because I think there is. No, no, no. You have according, to like, get through the gate. According to the Bible, no, that doesn't exist. Like if you're, if you're, but who's checking them in? That's well, what I need to know because more, there's so many people dying. You know what I mean? So no, it's so like who's <laughs> checking them in? <laughs> well, like you, I feel like if you. If your mind is able to process that, then your God is not big enough. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be able to understand the things that God do, does. He's course, that big that you don't understand how he does it. Just like we don't understand how he's omnipresent, how he's here with me, mm -hmm. he's with my sister, with my mom, with your mom, with your baby. Fact. You know what I'm saying? But he's also here with you too. Amen. So if your brain can grasp that and understand how God does things, he's then, so he's, then he's not big enough. So I don't need to understand how he does it. I just know that, to me, in my <laughs> beliefs, he's everyone that, that's, you know, sleeping is sleeping. That's why it's rest in peace. You're resting in peace. You're Amen. sleeping. Okay. And then when God comes, that's just like another story. I could go on and on. And no, I need, and I I need to like know. This is interesting because I, I, like, I believe that. I believe that yeah. can happen. I also believe in reincarnation. Like, I believe that families who have two people born within the same um, on the same exact day, just different years, were previously related in the past lifetime. Mm, They're I connected. Know. I mean, I think it's cool to, to, to intertwine, intertwine with that. And I also, I've heard stories and I've seen things that like, it's like, yo, like, that's crazy. Have you seen the story of like the time traveling man on TikTok? I haven't. I haven't. He went in young. And then the guy called the police because he saw him on his ring camera. And then the police went. No one was in the shed. And then a few days later, he gets a notification again. The guy comes out old. <gasps> From the same shed, I get goosebumps. Shut up. So I find things like that weird. I don't have the answer to everything. I don't know. No, maybe, of course. Of I course. don't know. Maybe God. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I feel like they could be angels. You know what I mean? You don't know. But but that's like I've also heard like people who are in the Twin Towers coming, being reincarnated as children. And then them speaking to their parents like, oh, yeah, mom, I was in being like three years old or four years old, five years old. Like, yeah, I was in the Twin Towers. I was running down. Yeah, I don't like crashes. that's what I'm saying. I don't doubt that those things happen, like, but I just don't know. I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I don't know. Also, like this, a quick story time. I know this. This we're still good. We're, yeah, we're still good. chatting. So my mom told me a story when she was. My mom was a heavy believer in God. Right? She wasn't when she was younger. She was Catholic, okay. not Christian. But she had to go take a few buses. She lived in the in the in the farm, but yeah. to go to the city, the take campo. a few buses. Yeah, the campo. She had to go, you know, take a few. I don't know if you guys have any supernatural stories. Please sound off below. I want to hear them. But um, so, yeah. So she took a bus. It was really, really late, like black, late, super pitch black. And my uncle is or her grandfather was super worried. Wow. So she's taking a bus and she says that she had to go all the way down a, a Loma, which is like a mountain or a hill and all the way up back up to the street where her house was. She says when she got, got off the bus, a guy got, gets off with her. Why do I have someone chills saying the story? So a guy gets off with her. She, was too, she said he was a big, tall guy, but she was too scared to look at him. Oh, my God. He didn't say not one word to her. She didn't say one word to him. But she just walked, and he was next to her the whole time. Shut up. So she's going down, and then she's going up. The hill. And that's the hill. When she, and this is like a 20-minute like walk. Wow doesn't say nothing to each other but she knows he's next to her yeah. she's walking so she goes up as soon as she sees her uncle that the uncle's like where where have you been it's late mm -hmm. she turns around the guy's not there <gasps> shut up he's not there and then she was scared like she was like like the uncle was like, she was like you didn't see the guy that was with me and and the my, my the grandfather or the uncle i don't know what it was he was like what guy she he could have saw her from the thing coming down with a guy right. And she says it was her guardian angel. He was guarding her. Oh, my God. In that walk, she oh was little. Oh, my God. I just got goosebumps, bro. Yeah. And, she's, and she always tells me that story. Like, I, I, I believe in that. percent I believe in that. Believe, like, I, I know. I believe that everyone's assigned a guardian angel, for sure. So when you think of, like, a time, for example, like, if you're late to work, if you spill your coffee on you, mm -hmm. like, those delayed seconds, learn to be thankful for them because that could have saved you from a car accident. Yep, amen. That could have saved you from anything or saved you from, like, hitting someone. Yep. Or, like, it's hard in the moment because you get so frustrated. frustrated but but when true. you think about these kinds of stories, like, think about that. Girl.
that crazy. Just, Do you have any kind of crazy stories like that? Even though you said one of, about your house and stuff. Like, oh, has yeah, that yeah. gotten better? Yes, yes. Okay. I haven't had anything supernatural. If you guys know anything um, from, like, last season, I was having some supernatural stuff going on. But, yeah, it's been pretty clear. But I want to... Um, I went to a psychic medium. A medium. Woo! <laughs> I know, GB. I know. Before the supernatural shit in your house or after? After. after. That's this why girl be playing games. <laughs> and what? Ha- I'd be interested, but what happened? Girl, they didn't even fucking call on us. I was so heated. Who didn't call on you? Because it was like, so it was like a group reading. It was from the guy here in Cranston. Um, what's his name? Matt Frazier. Never. He's heard a of medium me. from like world-renowned medium. And I saw him once before in um, Home Goods. Jace like fell. He was like running, and he like tripped and fell down right in front of his car. And I picked him up, and then I looked at him, and then I looked back, and then Jason and I were walking. I was with my friend, and then I looked at him again. And I'm like, "Has anybody ever told you you look like that medium?" He's like, "Oh yeah, because I am." And I'm like, oh, "No." So I was like, "Damn!" And I, everything it took everything inside me not to ask him like do you see anybody with me? Right? Yeah. <coughs> so I'm like, okay, so we bought like one of his virtual shows and he clicked on a few people and was like reading them. And I felt like most of the show felt like pretty connected, but then there were, the, then there were other parts where I'm like, is he guessing? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Are you guessing right now, Matt? So I need to redo. So Matt, I'm going to tag you in this and I need you to fucking Matt, call me. My girl yeah. wants you to hook her up. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> but yeah. Hook her up. <laughs> Listen, they, he might tell me, like, yo, Jeannie, so-and-so said you're doing a good job. You know what, though? I don't want that. I don't even want to know that. Like, Shut I don't, up. If anything, like, I get so scared of, like, any of that type of stuff that it's like, oh, if you tell her that I said, don't tell me. I'm telling you right now. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if it's she good. Said, I don't want to know if it's know. bad because I feel like if God wants me to know something, I'm going to know it regardless. Um, I, that happened to me at a club, too. A lady was like, you, <laughs> you like light-skinned guys. And I'm like, Ooh. I'm leaving the bathroom because, first of all, how you know that? <laughs> oh, mind your business. You <laughs> crazy. are my friend. Mind crazy. your business. So, yeah. So, stay tuned. But everything's been good. So, crazy okay. episode. But I love this. I um, love this. Uh, this episode, went, I don't know where it went, but I loved it. It was so deep, finally. It, was. it wasn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> love, love. <laughs> Throwing up gang signs. About to start crip walking. And- Wait, I do want to bring one thing up, though, real quick. Okay. That guy, that football player. Bro, do you want to leave that for another, or do you want to address that right now? I think we need to do a whole separate clip for that. But we'll, let, let's leave him a little message, yeah. at least for this one. Yeah, I don't even know his name. I don't even know who you are. That's how irrelevant you are in my life. How do you go to a? You know, no, no. We're gonna leave this for next time, next episode, well, because I, I, I need an episode you. for that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna be sounding off because it was just so disrespectful. And this episode was too beautiful to, was, to involve right. his nasty yeah, little thing. Yeah. Five million dollars a year finger in go, it. Go, go kick a ball, brother. <laughs> Till the next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.